Hello, I'm uh, Ulvika Simov. I'm a founder and the chairman of strategic planning board in .art domain zone. They found uh, in this DNS domain name system technology great chance for digitize entire art world and uh, bring very simple established and 7 billion people consensus technology to, to this industry. So for easy understanding, the idea is to give to every art object its own website, which is simple and through the website you can link because all that 30 years already existing system is modular. It's complementary to any technology, to blockchain, to AI, to any kind of uh, technological solution. And uh, I think we could give additional value to any art object and art institution by this way. Well, we should think about how we could get a uh, regular cash flow into the art industry. If we would look on, on an art object as a source for creating uh, derivatives, products additional, which already exist, for example, audio guides, they creating that uh, regular cash for, for, for some art objects. But they are not the only. We can link to any art content, video guides, AI, Pokemon Go for art objects, etc., 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 which gives understanding that every art piece could be converted into marketplace. In the future, will this system somehow simplify art market transactions? Uh, of course. It introduces a self-regulatory mechanism. It's no secret that provenance records are full of fakes and misuses. One can forge certificates as well as art objects themselves. We offer a universal technical solution where the owner or author registered with a verified ID says this is what this object is. The record is stored forever. If it is later discovered that it was a fake, the author has implicated themselves by leaving evidence. In the future, it will make sense for buyers to only purchase objects that hold these kind of certificates. So, I'm talking about new kind of art, which we could call from marketing side as a streaming art. Where, which gives a big opportunity not only for artists, but for collectors. Art itself has also been sold in a digital format for quite a while. Initially it was music, sold, shared and streamed via programs like iTunes. And now the time has come for visual arts. If Mona Lisa was sold on the stock market, mm -hmm. We can be certain that nothing will affect the value of its shares in a hundred years. Unlike with many other investment options, for example, luxury property or Google shares. So you think this kind of art shares could soon actually exist? Yes, I'm fairly certain. I'll even give you a timeline. In five, seven years, you'll be able to buy art objects not only at Sotheby's and Christie's, but also at the New York or London Stock Exchange.